Okay, this is a simple way to do a free mock-up. Uh, just search on Google for Printful Mock-up. Go to their online mock-up. I'm just going to choose a uh, men's unisex. Uh, well, it's under men's, but it's a unisex t-shirt. Okay, once you have your design, I'm not sure where you're putting it. It doesn't really matter um, what POD it's on. It um, doesn't have to be an exact file size on here. Obviously, you want it to look good resolution-wise. But I'm just going to take one that I just made just for this um, video. You just drop it on. You can resize it, whatever you want to do. Line it up where you want it. Uh, go back to product, choose whatever color shirt you want. Um, obviously, if you want to make something colorful, uh, pick a colorful shirt. Just make sure, though, if it's for Merch by Amazon, um, that you try to use the color that's on there so you're not like misleading your consumer. But if you're doing Printful to Etsy and you want to make a mock-up, and this is the t-shirt that you're using, obviously go ahead and use the same t-shirt color. But for the mock-up purposes, you just go to Generate Files. I like to use the wrinkled front mock-up if you want a flat or person. Um, I think these look better on a mock-up. So after you choose whatever you want, just click on Generate Files. Download the file to your computer. Uh, mine just go right to my desktop. Some people, uh, you, you know, you might have to search in your downfold. Download file. Otherwise, what I do next is I'm going to take that mock-up, drop it on my desktop from the folder, um, and then in your Canva account, um, you can use whatever you want size-wise um, for your, let's see, for your um, mock-up size. I don't know where you're putting, if it's for social media or what have you, but let's just say that um, we were making the back-to-school design, so I'm just going to drop this on my up uploads. Once it loads, I can drop it right on the background that I make. Again, you can make this uh, whatever you want. I'm not going to show the uploads that I have on my um, sidebar here, but you can, um, you know, search for other back to school things. Like maybe you want to put an apple, uh, whatever you want. Let's say school. You can add your own text. I just search for school over here. Uh, maybe I want to put some books in it. Obviously, whatever you want, but that's that's pretty much all I do. This is one I made for my Etsy shop. Obviously, I tried to make it more beach-like, um, and this is an actual you know t-shirt style that Printful has, so that's why I chose that. I thought it looked good with the sunset because of the theme of the shirt. Um, the other thing you can do too is say you don't want to have to go through those steps that I just went through. If you go back to um, Printful's mock-up generator, what I did was I made a blank mock-up. So like this is the size file that you need, but I didn't put any text on it. So now I have a blank mock-up here. I'm going to generate the files, choose a blank one. Let's do flat this time. Generate the files. I'm going to download it. And it always is going to do a PNG, so the tra you know the background's transparent. We can go back to uh, Canva. Let's say I, I don't want to have to make the T-shirt every time. You know you can download your design file and then just keep this blank mockup as your uh, upload file on the left-hand side with your uploads, and then you can just keep it there. And every time you have a design, like let's say I made this one. I can take my design file, add my mock-up t-shirt, because again it's a transparent background. I can add whatever I want. Like let's say again I wanted to do like a beach. I don't know, whatever, right? So I'll put it in the background. I'm gonna go back to my uploads, take my design for my t-shirt and then I can place it on my t-shirt wherever I want. Um, I'm sure you know too if you highlight the two things you can group them together and you can move it as a unit. 
you know, put it on whatever mock-up you want. So you could just save the t-shirt like I said, then uh, it's always on your uploads and then take your design file and plop it on the t-shirt wherever you want. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks.